just want to you know thank everyone and everyone that's been able to support me and it's just been like literally like an eye opener for my as far as literally getting back on the court and seeing what it takes to uh, bring myself back to where I am today and I feel great I felt like uh, there's a lot of weight lifted off my chest and uh, I'm ready to get back to it out of college I got drafted to the Miami Heat NBA D League team and everything was going well for me and I tore my ACL and it was a weird time where I tore it because it was like halfway through the year so I had to sit out the following year and then the year after so it kind of hurt me a little bit and it's just been a struggle for me to like get back on my two feet with basketball and stuff like that but uh as far as like getting on a team you know I just feel like uh, this is probably the best move for me to get go because you know I'm playing at home um I'm comfortable with some of the guys and I'll be able to blossom and get back to where I need to be you know anytime you can start with a guy like Chad Rack you know like I was just saying a 6'9 NBA sized body and a, and a skill set and a high motor like he has it's always a pleasure to have a uh, attitude your your roster and also with him having or bearing the last name that he has with the, the blue file and his younger brother making a ton of, of relation great relationships here and, and winning a championship in university um so his his last name is is well known here in, in the local area uh, the blue file name is big here chad Rack will be welcomed with open arms i believe and i'm just really excited to see him play but it's just been like like I said earlier, an eye opener to a lot of things that I took for granted as a player before when I was younger coming out. And a lot of things I just appreciate more, you know, especially being able to play and run and jump and stuff like that. So um, it's just been, you know, a blessing to be able to work on my game and work on my body and be able to bring myself back to where I feel like I should be. So I took that into consideration, especially being home um, around my family and friends and a couple guys that I'm familiar with. Uh, my brother actually played at Cape Breton University, Meshach LaField. So I'm kind of familiar with the fan base and everything like that. So it kind of was just like a no-brainer for me. I just thought it was like the best opportunity for me knowing that my brother went there. And there's a couple of guys on the team that my brother was really, 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 really close with. Uh, Jimmy Dorsey, the point guard, and uh, Morgan. Uh, I'm really, I'm cool with him. So those are really two guys that I really, um, that I'm really interested in playing with this year, for sure. Ever since college and all the big runs we had at Wichita State going to the Final Four and then the undefeated season we had, I, had, I was a big part of that. And then, like, coming home, you know, we got a lot of praise for that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't let it go to my head. But a lot of guys haven't seen me play in Canada for the longest time. You know, it's, so it's kind of like, like a homecoming thing for me. And being able to play against guys that play, I haven't played against since, like, high school. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of people, I've been getting a lot of DMs and a lot of messages about people saying, you know, I'm proud of you. I'm going to come to the game. Now I got a favorite player trying to buy my jersey number. You know what I'm saying? So it's really, really exciting.